This is one of multiple videos teaching you network programmability using Python and GNS3. My take on learning programming or any other technology is to just do it. Try it, make mistakes, pick yourself up, and try again. Don't try and do it perfectly on the first run. Create some code and then iterate or improve and refine your code as you go along. Genus 3 makes this process very easy. In a previous video, I configured the router using a Python script. This is what our Python script looks like. We programmatically configured loopback addresses and OSPF on the Cisco IOS V router. Now let's configure the switch. The router was given this IP address through DHCP. What I'll do is configure the switch manually on the SVI, so IP address question mark, we have to specify the IP address here. So we'll use 72. So host name, switch one. We need to configure login details. So I'll set an enable password of Cisco. I'll set up a username of David with a password of Cisco. And on the VTY lines, I'm gonna use the command login local and transport input all. So let's manually test that Telnet works. So Telnet to the IP address of the switch, login with our username of David, password of Cisco. Enable, put password in, we can log in. So we've proven that Telnet works on the switch. On the switch at the moment, show VLAN brief shows us that only the default VLANs are configured. Now previously we configured this Python script. What I'm gonna do now is copy this Python script to a, another script called Python switch one, script one. As I said in the previous video, we are not trying to do everything perfectly here we are trying to get started and we'll iterate and improve as we go along. So let's use nano to edit that script. In this case, the IP address of the switch is 192.168.122.72. We'll be prompted for our username and our password. We're gonna telnet to that host. We are looking for a username and password prompt. So let's confirm that that's what we're gonna see. We are prompted for a username, so that's correct. We are prompted for a password, so that's correct. So the script will correctly look for and then enter those values. We're gonna send the enable command to the switch, enter a password of Cisco, then type conf t, and we'll configure a VLAN of two. Now you can, as always, refine this and improve it, but I'm gonna type exit and then create a VLAN three. And then exit and let's get rid of all of this. So let's control K that, control U, paste it back, control K, control U, control U. Now you could, if you preferred, just do this, copy that and paste it in. So let's create VLANs two, three, four, five, six. Control X, save the configuration. Now again, before I run the script, notice we only have the default VLANs configured. And what I'll do now is type Python, Python, S1 script one, username is David, password is Cisco. This is what was configured on the switch. We can see in the output of the switch that it was configured via Telnet. 
show VLAN. Notice the VLANs have been added to the VLAN database. VLAN 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 have been added. It was as simple as that to use Python to configure a network switch. Now what we could do here as an example is set a description. So Python VLAN 2 as an example. Control X, save the script, run it again. And hopefully what we should see in the output here, show VLAN. What's nice about the output of this script is we see that there's a problem. I used the wrong command. So first manually test. Command is not supported. So manually test and then automate. So let's do that again. The description is actually the name command. Save that, run the script again. I didn't configure that manually. It was configured via the script, so show VLAN. Notice the name has changed. So let's do that for the other VLANs. Control K, Control U, Control U, Control U, Control U, Control U. Now this is one of the reasons why you wanna use variables and loops because it saves a lot of time doing this manually but we'll leave that for a different script so python python s1 script 1 username is david password is cisco we see what was configured and if we type show vlan we can see the configuration on the switch. This is the script that we created. Again, it's not perfect. You can optimize the script. You can improve it. There's a lot of things that you can do to make it better, but this demonstrates how you can quickly start programming networks using Python with GNS3. Hope you enjoyed the video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel I wish you all the very best.